the counterfeit climax is book five maybe with Excel publishing to include think like jesus who came up with and i love that title who is it that came up with mm, that title her name that? is Joni, and she's on the exo marriage team she started the path and i've i've finished the the the, the run i sprinted towards the, the exit of that of that door You're, of that it, was, it was the word climax the word climax came out of my mouth that's right and, and that, so did um we're going to bleep this out so did uh Holy Orgasms mm-hmm. uh, was another hey, p- title we we we. This was this there was out. no bad ideas. We're just in here to do the good stuff. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's the, that's actually the next book. Holy Orgasms. Holy yeah. Orgasms. That's uh, uh, Holy O. <laughs> Holy Holy Dash O. I know. It sounds like a like a church cereal. Church. Like a. <laughs> we're gonna have to. Holy O's. We're, we're gonna have to on YouTube make sure this is not for kids. <laughs> this, this is gonna so be like, bad. Uh, okay, sorry. Eighteen plus. That is one of the awkward parts of of the job. I'll say our parents and our children know that we talk about sex for a living, in essence, and they're yeah. simultaneously proud of us and ashamed. Like, cause they, they well, don't. it's true, and I it's and I yeah. from an HR perspective, I'm always like, where is the line? Part of the job is to come up with titles like. Why is it awkward to say masturbation or whatever it is you're talking about? That well, it is touchy. <laughs> <laughs> it said it's handy or I can't remember. Oh that. man! I no, was like, I think when he, when he finally cut me off is when I said I just can't get a grip. Oh <laughs> no! And, and I, he said it's, it's too so much. Bad. It's too much, it's and it was, and it is again. You feel free to edit it out. <laughs> I'm not editing out anything. This is this is good. This is going to be helpful information for some people. Most people won't talk about it. You guys do a great job of talking about Thank it. Thank you. The counterfeit climax is a, a bravo because you did a great job of dealing with a difficult issue, difficult issues in sex, and what happens whenever it goes wrong. And it can. I mean, most most people think of sex from a honeymoon stage, but there's also times where there's struggles in that area. When there's struggles in that area, it's not good. I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's really it's really challenging. So the counterfeit climax talks a lot about issues that couples deal with, but you do it both together, which I like because mm-hmm. there's oftentimes a leaning towards just men. And, and men are the ones that struggle with issues, whether it's porn or whatever it is. But women actually, especially these days, have just as many struggles. Oh, yeah. Women deal with menopause and other mm-hmm. things like that that can struggle, Chris struggles in marriage. So the feedback from the book, what's it been like? It's actually been really good. I mean, we've, you know, we're just now getting that feedback because it released, you know, not too long ago. People saying that they're having conversations they've never had. They're having kind of epiphanies they never had. They never realized what was really holding them back. And also, you know, we talk a lot about, like you mentioned menopause, we talk about different just physiological things that can get in the way of a great sex life. I mean, that's one of the many things we talk about in there. And I think sometimes, you know, people will go get help if they're having migraines all the time, or they'll go get help with any kind of other issue. But when it comes to like a sexual issue, there's all this shame kind of that people feel and they think it's embarrassing, first of all, and they don't want to, they really don't know who to go to for help. And then they're like, well, Maybe I can just like somehow get through it, or maybe this is just kind of my lot in life now. And so a lot of people have who've read this have written us and said, you know, I'm finally going to go see somebody about my hormonal imbalance. That just makes us excited that, you know, people know they're not alone. I mean, if anything, when they read this book, I want them to realize they're not doomed, that everybody goes through stuff. Just like any part of your marriage, sex doesn't look the same the entire marriage. It's mm-hmm. going to look different, and that's okay. Yeah, but some of this is controversial. I mean, there's, there's certain people that are okay with certain things in their sex life or whatever it yeah. is. And, but as believers, we should have a little bit of a standard when it comes to dealing with certain issues. And I think the church is either silent or people kind of vacate all principles and they go towards, you know, trying to consume things that are unhealthy in their relationship. But the truth is, is that if you're, if you're struggling out there, sometimes medicine is, is a, is a fix, yeah. not just pills for guys, but there's other things even for women to help regulate that. It's not always something that's insurmountable. Sometimes it's a quick, easy thing that you can address. Mm-hmm. Y'all did a good job of, of talking the whole gamut of sex and, and the dark Thank side you. of it. So well Thank done. You. Thanks the for counterfeit that. Counterfeit Climax, available now. Available <laughs> where now. books are sold. We really are proud of it, mostly because I, I think it can help couples have conversations that they've maybe never had. Mm-hmm. And communication is at the root of almost every issue related to sex. Like mm-hmm. you've got to be honest about all of it. You know, what you, what you like, what you don't, your hangups, your fears, your insecurities, your fantasies, like just every, all of it. And most couples we find don't really have those conversations. We hope, if nothing else, that the book will help people to kind of find some freedom of things that have held them back, false mindsets that have held them back or baggage from their own past, and then guide them through some meaningful conversations with their spouse along these issues too. That's great. I'm thinking about having to explain to my kids why I said masturbation on the Exo Pod Show. <laughs> <laughs>